Howdy y'all, this is Phantom from Soldiers in Chaos giving you an update for October. It's uh, my first commentary, so let me know what you think. We'll work around it from there. Footage is on bare bones servers on uh, pub matches. We, we just kind of flicker through some shots here for a bit. We were just kind of messing around for the 20th and 21st of October. Took me a while to get, because because I was busy to get the video on though. Um, the little thing about Soldier and Chaos, we've been together about 14 years, but not like we have until last January where we really pulled it together with Modern Warfare 2, and uh, now we're up to between 75 and 100 members. Uh, we were in the spring season of game battles. We finished in the top 2,000 out of 940,000 teams. The summer season, though, for game battles got a little weird because so many modders and glitchers, there were a lot of disputed matches, and so we had to capture card everything. It became a real hassle. But Black Ops has theater mode, so that'll clear that up, though. We are recruiting to answer your questions. However, we're not recruiting your friends, brothers, hamsters, lawyer, because they happen to own the game and you know them. That's not going to fly. We're only taking kids that have skills at the game. We're not looking for a bunch of young people that can't hold their own or use their call-outs and every other word's wow. Wow is not a call-out, kids. Learn this. You say you die, you die where? You die from what or who? That helps. They're above you. Above who? Say a name. They're above Phantom. Okay, now I look to know to look up. That helps. Use your callouts. It's very key. Even if you're playing with pub kids. Like I mentioned before, these are on barebones servers. I like barebones a lot because it's the closest we got to an MLG game type with no kill streaks. You still have the tubes and the shotgun, but I mean, you can't win them all. Plus you'll find a lot of snipers and you can usually start a quick scope in lobby by just doing some pub kids. Here Trickster and I are 1v1ing. Uh, we're just kind of messing around. If you have noticed already, I, I was liking the blue with the blue, so I have a heartbeat on my shit, but Trickster's rocking Ninja, so it's not like an unfair advantage or anything. Even with Ninja, though, I heard him land, so I mean, it's the beauty of Turtle Beaches. If, as far as headsets go, Turtle Beaches are great. If you're going to buy some, buy X11s, because you can buy them for under 60 bucks. They're not like going to be $200 for a headset, and then you're going to break it, or it's going to fall off your head. Plus, they're wired instead of wireless. I prefer that. Wireless to me is one more time where your batteries are going to fail or you're going to get some static or some interference. And you don't need interference when you're trying to play and sound horse some people. It just kind of messes with your shit. And plus, after you start playing with them, you're not going to really want to switch back. You get pretty used to using them offensively and defensively. And not just for search games and stuff, even the groundwork. Things like things like sit rep take on a whole new meaning when you can hear your enemy's footsteps. And even if they rock ninja, you're still gonna hear the, them reload, them fall, the blade, the grass bend if they're like going through some tall brush. There's no way for them to avoid you, and it gives you a really unfair advantage over people who don't have them. Even if they have like a fancy surround system on their house, it's just not the same. Another no scope there. It was kind of a barrel stuff. I felt kind of bad for it. It's already on the spree, so it's not really good for it. And then I couldn't find him, so I sped the footage up here, just to kind of give you all an idea. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of running around going on in a 1v1. Spawns are kind of messed up, so I killed him for a bit there, but you know, then he kind of played more defensively. A few more drag scopes here. I do a lot of drag scopes, and people rag on me for it, but drag scopes still count as quick scopes. It's so it's a lot more realistic. Really fun to do them. Plus, I think they look really cool when the crosshair meets in the center. It just kind of pops in and out. Equipment-wise, I'd like to apologize. Uh, I am getting an HD capture card, so in the meantime, the footage is kind of lame. Well, I know. We're working on that, and we're getting a few of us with capture cards to get some dual footage going and make sure some really cool montages on both sides, both, we have both the opposing and the friendly teams all at the same time. Thanks again for watching our videos. We're Soldiers in Chaos. Please visit our website, www.soldiersinchaos.moonfruit.com, and hope to see you online. Send friend requests. Sick X Phantom signing out.